his technique, his power, it stays with him the entire fight. Rock to the core by those punches. His reflexes, his counters. The speed and power of those punches from Inouye. And there's a right hand gone in too from Inouye. With a guy like Inouye, it's going to be hard to compete. Fight fans, welcome back. Two fighters from opposing promotional stables stepping forward to fight the best available. So he's technically so solid, he's always in position to punch hard. Accurate puncher, he doesn't waste a damn thing. A verified monster running out of options and serious challenges moving up in weight and straight at the big dog of the 122 pound division what went into your decision to go over to japan to fight inoue when you're the one he is now the unified wbc and wbo champion of the world with the titles at 122 and the belt on the line i need some excitement I need some excitement. I feel like this when I come alive. A ferocious Philadelphian. No risk, there is no reward. I'm not afraid to lose. Head to head, toe to toe. Oh, what a right uppercut. At home in the trenches or outmaneuvering opponents. 11 fights. Stephen Fulton Jr. It seemed to make him fight harder. So far, nobody has been able to resist the prodigious power and constant mental pressure of a Japanese hero. Could size finally halt his rampant progression? We take a closer look at Naoya Inoue the monster. versus Stephen Fulton. Cool boy! Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. That's why we came. I'm about to go out there and defend my titles. That's major. Hey, look up this young fighter called the Monster. Japanese fighter called Monks. Crazy, crazy dude. Yeah, let's check him out, man. Since hooking up with top rank. You know, it, it's cruel and inhuman punishment to ask anybody to fight in a Let's go. <laughs> Displaying his oh yeah, Inoue has gone from strength to strength. Inoue is like a superhero. Unbelievable, the, the baddest little man on the planet. His ability to draw crowds and generate money at home is almost unrivaled. Terry, who do you have on your pound for pound list, top five? Top five? Man, yeah. That's hard, why you put me on the spot? I got this fight out there. Oh my, oh my! I got, you know, Canelo. I got, uh, Chris said earlier. Whoa, and a one! Arrow. Terrence, I come up for that motherfucking bell. You know. The Yokohama native was last seen pummeling Paul Butler for the WBO title, tying up undisputed at 118. Could you ever have imagined you could now be on the precipice of not just an undisputed title fight, but against someone you consider perhaps a pound for pound best? I mean, our world champion again. That's that's the fight I want. Um, I'd be daft not to. Here in Tokyo, Japan, for the featured bout of the evening. I mean, I've been in the sport 23, 24 years now. Why would I not want a boxer great like that in Japan? Look. That is right. And I remember the ref counting, I remember thinking, bastard. I, I just couldn't get up. The first undisputed bantamweight champion in boxing's four belt era. It was another crowning moment for the man who had defeated Nonito Donaire to win the WBSS tournament. Noya, how are you feeling? I'm excited to enter the tournament. I'm ready for war, I'm covered in armor. Being in this tournament has been just tremendous. All these young guys trying to weed out the, the old generation. But, um... 
Bats. Uh, the new WBA Unified Bantamweight Champion of the World. So far, I've, I've, I've proven that I'm a wall that, that needs to be climbed. Let's go! Yes! He's fast. You know, and he has pops, no shots. The 112 was a puncher. He, he is good. His placement. Yeah, he beat, uh, uh, what's his name? What's his name? The name? He thought that he could just run me over. When they go, they really go. Try to take me out in the early round, and he got caught with shots, right? In a way, suffered a fractured eye socket. He got dropped, and he got up and beat him. No, he didn't get dropped. No, he didn't get dropped. Patches in the on the chin. He got hurt. He got hurt. No pain, I numb it. Hard times, I love it. But soaked up the majority of Don Air's explosive bombs and sliced the body with almost conclusive accuracy. Accurate puncher. He doesn't waste a damn thing. They want me to stop, but I keep it calm. Don Air promised his kids that he'll bring the trophy home. And I asked um, their team if I can borrow the, the trophy. So he told Donaire, take the trophy, show it to your kids, and give it back to me the next day. Oh yeah, that's not good. After starching a string of overmatched foes, <laughs> Inoue was back to his best when decisively wrapping up the Donaire rivalry as the Filipino flash was brutally erased in round two. I didn't see that punch coming at all. I would probably say that was the hardest punch I've got hit with. Boasting a fine array of tools, Inoue isn't afraid to take a shot. He'll need every detectable asset to overcome this next challenge. When Stephen Fulton's natural rival, MJ Atmadaliv, who was upset by Marlon Tapales for his IBF and WBA titles, Choke Latino. Oh, a left hand there. A good one from Tapalis. And that rock, Akmadali, if that's the most I've seen him hurt. And the new. He did it. And, An anticipated clash for Undisputed drifted away. Little matter for cool boy Steph, who was already preparing for another huge assignment in the land of the rising sun. Uh, I was in talks with. Brandon Figueroa back in November. Everybody was talking and oh, it was a close fight. You really think you won the fight? It was a close fight. Nah, I'm not. It you really think you won the fight? It was a close fight. Yeah, I won. I heard to like fight six times. So I wanted to silence the critics, but. After I heard that anyway was moving up. I made the call to Luda Cuba. We made it happen. The 28-year-old Philly talent showed his mettle when repelling the threat of Brandon Figueroa. Is this a fight that we can make happen? Brandon, the heartbreaker! Yeah, of course, you know, if his team is fine to do it, I'm more than happy to do it. What do you have to say, Steven? We've been ready, we always ready. The Heartbreaker finally found a will that could not bend throughout their super bantamweight unification affair. Uh, he has the power that, that'll, that'll wear you down. And now Figueroa going to work and this one is over. Hey, Figueroa's yeah. going to work. Yeah. It's it's overwhelming, man. Yeah, that's a lot. It's like position. you're getting jumped. Just a grueling style by Figueroa. I'm the type of fighter that I overcome everything. I don't wear down. I overcome things. Fulton has been able to withstand the onslaught so far. Cool boy, Steph Stevens! I actually thought, I was pulling for Fulton, but uh, I, I thought Figueroa won that fight. Everybody here knows who won. Everybody here knows who won. Guys, let's, uh, let's agree to a rematch. I feel like I made the weight grow the, the first time when I fought her. And then I corrected myself, that's why I looked so, so clean and fresh. And then you Roman fight. In his most recent effort, Fulton looked supreme against Daniel Roman, showing a different dimension to the rough and tumble Figueroa encounter 
Steven used his subtle skills to put on a clinic over a former unified champion. There's a leap, quick overhand right count of lead left hook layup. Do you believe this is the victory that puts you in the top 10 pound for pound conversation? I don't care what they list is, I've been top 10. If Fulton can now travel overseas and find a way to topple a pound for pound mainstay, he will have pulled off one of the most impressive feats in years. I told my, my coach that I'm going to go to Japan and fight him. From Yokohama, Japan, the knockout sensation. Come on. And he did us. He's like, man, why would you do that? Said, that's, a, that's a big fight. Said, Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. And now look where we at. Is there a fighter out there that is one of the greatest ever that you don't believe gets the credit that they deserve? Mm. The guy that's fighting um, Stephen Fulton, the Japanese guy. Oh yeah, I, I don't know. I, damn it, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I know what you're talking about, though. A new year. When he throws it, oh, and it sets up power shots like that. Naturally, the bigger man, Fulton is adaptable and will look to use his three-inch reach advantage. One point five inches taller than his foe. Fulton is adept at burrowing on the inside. And working for the full 36 minutes with 143 rounds of experience under his belt. Much of Inoue's fierce reputation is built off the back of his frightening 88% KO ratio. Your grandmother would love to invite him over to dinner because he would clean his plate, you know? Fulton's own 38% knockout stats may not be sufficient to keep Inoue at bay while boxing and moving behind a varied left jab. Fulton has, you know, fast hands, accuracy, but there's no power. Inoue just has more tools, more power. But how are you going to keep them off you? What do you say to those who say, I don't know if he's got enough pop to keep any way off of him? Power don't just win fight. I'm smart. <laughs> how do you think I got here? My, my skill, my mindset, my speed, my slickness. Entering his 11th year in a pro career that began at 108 pounds. You can see early that his father taught him well. He's fundamentally sound. And that power he has behind those fundamentals don't hurt at all. In a way, is put through a series of relentless, repetitive training drills by his father. He's built like a tank. Strong, reactive. Stamina through the roof. With 21 wins across nine years, Fulton will have underrated coach Wahid Rahim devising an astute game plan. But I actually noticed he doesn't fight that well going back. You never see him going back. So I told Scooter, Steven, I'm sorry. I told Steven, keep it in the middle ring and push it back. He will stop punching. You don't know how to punch going backwards. The blend of styles makes for an intriguing tactical battle. While Brandon Figueroa fights at 100 miles per hour, it's like position. you getting jumped. Anyway, offers more refined demands. Fulton will have more time to set himself, plan escape routes, and think. Stylistically, there will be no face first defense from Anyway, as he looks to utilize his footwork and hand speed, all set up behind a solid jab. For him, he's a smart guy. He's gonna try to go through, throw an overhand, but he's only gonna throw it if he's certain. As the home fighter, Naoya may feel the need to force the fight and make things happen, rather than using his precise counter shots. This could play right into the hands of Fulton, who may lack the firepower to hold off someone so dangerous, but natural size and movement could help offset that concern. Moving from side to side, using every last inch of the ring, Fulton can be elusive, but also able to bite down on the gum shield and slug it out when necessary. 
y'all seen uh, y'all seen how I uh, fight in the inside? Head to head, toe to toe. Twenty-five percent. I can fight in the outside. I can fight any way I want. Inuay's pressure is educated, so the U.S. visitor may opt to be cagey and invite the fight favorite to force the issue. Is you have to be alert at all times with Inuay. You know what I mean? But you can't get sucked into his traps. So that's because he's, come up he's so confident in his, in his ability that he barely blinks. And when he turned his shit over, he mean it. But I think Cool Boy gonna just wear him out. I think it's gonna go the distance, but he gonna wear him out. After clearing up at bantamweight, the Japanese jawbreaker will now start his journey to become the first undisputed champion at two weights in the four belt era. In boxing, talk is cheap, and these two titanium tough guys have chosen action over words putting their unbeaten records on the wire in Tokyo. I'm going over there to not only make history, but to prove to myself and the world, I want to do some shit that nobody doing. In his search for credible opponents and high level tests, the man they call the monster has just elevated himself into the diciest assignment available. Monster, he's a mean little. Sh